number six, Tim Ryan at Gil Clancy, live from Las Vegas. It has been a very grueling struggle thus far. Not the kind of sustained action you saw, say, between uh, Frias and Mancini, but very heavy punching by both the champion Navaretti in black and Lamone in red. So far, we have given the advantage to this point to Navaretti, who just lands it on the left to the bottom. He seems to be starting to take control of the fight, and Lamone is going to have to do something different. Uh, what he's doing now is not working because he's getting beat, beat to the punch, and Navaretti hitting him with heavy counter punches. He's throwing those wide arm punches, and they just aren't effective. Former champion Cornelius Boza Edwards lifted the crown from Lamone. He's in attendance here today. Watching the man who took it from him, Rolando Navarrete, and uh, hoping that he will get an opportunity to win it back. Figures to be either Boza Edwards or Edwin Rosario, who's ranked number two in the world, who will get the next title shot. Tim, you almost got hit with Navarrete's right hook that time. Yeah, he can really rip it. And when he's uh, that close to ringside, I guess we should be ducking a little bit. Just missed with that right hand. Picked it up and backed off. Navarrete setting the pace. He picks it up. He slows it down. He's in control. He's doing what he wants to do. That's, that's why I say Lamone has to do something to upset Keith can't keep going like this. Navarrete, again, just missing. Lamone, uh, again, we comment that he has showed he is in good shape. It was a question mark. It has been before. We watched the train. He's in superb condition. He landed a right hand there. Navarrete slaps it back. Just catching to the end of that right hand. Under a minute to go, round six, scheduled for 15. Again, the counterpoint for the champion scoring. From the mall. Navarrete, solid punch, like drives the challenger into the head. ropes above it. Yes, it looks boxing. That's it. What's happened here, Tim Lamone is taking a couple of those good stiff punches, and he's not the same Lamone. He doesn't, he's afraid to take that chance that he usually takes. He's usually a non-stop fighter. But now when he throws those big punches, he gets nailed, so he's hesitating. He's taking his own style away from himself. He landed a left and paid for it with a right hand back. Under 10 seconds to go. Round number six. Round number seven, Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy, live from Las Vegas, the challenger, Lamone. Slipping behind on our scorecards, at least, the champion, Navarrete, in black. Well, he started out the round, Tim, as if, uh, it, it as if he had been listening to me. Came out and started to throw those punches in bunches, the way Lamone usually fights. 29-year-old Lamone, 25-year-old Rolando Navarrete, both experienced boxers. Had more than 50 fights apiece. Started as teenagers in their respective countries. Ramon, Mexico. Navarrete in Manila, the Philippines. Solid body shot. Backed up Ramon. So far, to their credit, it's been a clean fight. We've seen one or two low blows from Ramon that did not appear to be intentional. It appears that we may have seen a lot of fouling so far. Uh, Solid inside, punching in a good right hand to the chin. Lamont stays right there. Never ready, really blasted. Lands another combination. Never ready, he might be getting skirmished here. He's been playing big punches in the ring. Another combination. Lamont has a chin of iron, but even iron can get worn out. My goodness, he's taking some punches. This is what he has to do to win the fight. And he can't win it by outsmarting Navarrete. He's got to outgun him. That's what he's trying to do now. He's trying to take the punishment and take the heart away from Navarrete. Gil, I said, a little loss of power. There's two low blows to the champion. A little loss of power in the punching of the ball. It appears to me in the seventh round. No doubt taken out by the tremendous shot taken from Navarrete. Under a minute to go. He is in good 
great shape. Rolando Navarrete punishing the challenger Lamone in round number seven, but unable to knock him down as Lamone has just stayed there despite the punishment that he's been taking. And he's trying to out tough him. Lamone's trying to out tough him is what he's trying to do, and he's taking those bombs. You know, Tim, up until the time that Navarrete knocked out Boza Edwards, he was just considered a good, tough club fighter. But it's amazing what it can do when a fellow wins a championship of the world. He walks around, he says to himself, gee, I'm the champ. Believe me, he's improved 25% since he won that world championship. He's a much better fighter now. An excellent point. You know, it's so true. We've seen it with other champions who won championships and suddenly two or three fights later looked a lot better. Good, solid left hand leading by Navarrete landed. Navarrete, as we pointed out, become quite a hero in the Philippines. There's even a, common, a comic strip over there that features him as the lead character, and he's also going to be making a movie playing himself in the Philippines. Lamone also, uh, somewhat of an actor, has had some stage work in Mexico and wants to continue in that business after his boxing career is over. Slight cut on the bridge of the nose of Lamone, the one we commented on two or three rounds ago. It has not been any problem thus far, but we can see a slight uh, nick on the bridge of his nose. Oh, good solid left hand landed by Lamone. His best punch of the fight. Blocks the champion, Navarrete. Navarrete lands a right hand lead. Any questions about Lamone's conditioning have been answered. Whether his legs hold up for 15 still remains to be seen, but he's obviously in great shape and he's taken a huge bomb from the hard punching Filipino. And he's fighting right in the eye of the storm. And he's paying for it. Is there a minute to go? Round number eight. Excited Mario Silva doing his commentary. 
I'd like to alert our local stations along the line at the conclusion of this round. We'll be taking a 30-second station break. Navarrete in black. Lamone the challenger in red. We have had everything we expected from two tough young men.
final seconds. We'll be back with more championship boxing after this word from your local station. the playoffs, but the late, the Philadelphia 76ers, of course, with other ideas. And look at this start of round number 11. Tim, they had a real cheering section in Navarrete's corner. They told them, let's go, go, go. They sounded like cheerleaders in a college football game. Now we're into the championship distance. It's the last five. Oh, now it's, oh, they just exchanged tough punches. Tremendous right hand by Navarrete, and the moment back up tall. But now a left back into the rope. Navarrete goes away from there. Remarkable, not just that he hasn't fallen down with the no marks, apart from that slight nick on the bridge of his nose. Ten years of boxing wars as a professional. Virtually an unmarked face, and the shots that he takes certainly have taken here today. Remarkable. There was another fighter like that, Tim. He was a great old fighter by the name of Gaspar Ortega. He was in a million wars, had about a hundred professional fights, never got a mark on him. Toe to toe they go. It's been this way through nine, ten, make it grueling round. Round 11, scheduled to 15. Another solid right by the champion. Bangs right back to the body. fight hasn't had to break them too often boy they just stand there and bang away very little clinching sometimes when they should be clinching they're not and that's how you can tell a good referee you very seldom see him he's not in the way he lets he lets the guys fight and he still enforces the rules Joey Curtis is doing a good job Tim under a minute to go round number 11 Look from our angle. We'll try and determine whether it's from that nick or not. Moe stumbled a bit there trying to clinch with that already. Chain to the body, then to the head. Both fighters. The difference in that exchange is that Navarrete is throwing the shorter punches. Followed right hand again by the champion. There's a slight nick under the right eye of the challenger, Lamone. Not been any problem. A low blow by Navarrete there. You can see the cringe of Lamone, but no warning for it. Curtis didn't see it. Final seconds, round 11. 